Howdy folks, Yappy from uh, Alabama Bee Removal. Uh, we're out here trying to save us a colony for a uh, hunting property in northeast Alabama. And as you can tell, it's going to be a big one. They, uh, I'm figuring we got about a good eight foot right here. Uh, don't see, I've looked up in and right now I don't see any extension comb to the left or right. The hive, the way it looks right now is telling me they've probably been here anywhere from seven to ten years maybe. Uh, pretty dark comb. Um, they got they got some great stores going, so I can't wait to can't wait to get the rest of this off and see what what all we got up top. Got a lot of really good honey already in here. Uh, the bees are a little bit jumpy right now, so we're gonna get them opened up, uh, smoke them a little bit, try to knock the attitude off of them, and uh, go into it. This one's gonna be a kind of a quick get it done removal. I need to get them in the box. I got a weather kind of acting silly on me, and it's already in the afternoon, about three three thirty I think. So. Um, it's going to be a mess. I don't have any electricity. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. But uh, guys called, said they had a beehive, and I was glad to come out and try to rescue it. And uh, we're going to have some fun with it. So hope you enjoy the video. and try to uh, try to keep it rolling as much as possible, show you a few things that I'm doing as I go through there, and have a little bit of fun. Because, hey, I'm messing with bees. And you know what makes you happy happy when he messes with bees. So we'll talk to you here in a little bit, and enjoy the view. Well, here you go, folks. This is what we got. You ready for this? There it is. Big old jumbo. Kind of wondering what's going on up with here. I think our queen's on the run, but I ain't sure yet. We're going to have to open up a corner and check it out here later. But we'll see what goes on. But anyway, there it is. The jumbo hive. And I'll tell you, they ain't happy. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start cutting our comb down there at the bottom. And we're going to get in the middle, we're going to try to frame up a bunch and get to the top and go ahead and finish out. Get all these girls took care of, put them in a box tonight and uh, call it a day. So I'll have you some more footage here shortly. We'll be right back.
first part of this video, I was doing the removal here on the uh, hunting camp house, uh, abandoned house that uh, they uh, have had for who knows how many years. I'm guesstimating the hive that was in here is probably uh, about a 10 year old hive. And we started the removal, we got a large amount of honey out of the bottom, got a large amount of honey out of the top, uh, nothing salvageable, definitely going to feed it all back to the hive. And when we got to the middle towards the brood section, we got a storm come through. Weather was not very good to me. The bees weren't even good to me. I ended up, uh, if you see in most of the video, I probably had a, my veil on and about to put it back on. Um, what I was trying to do was pretty much, I was trying to get the bees into a center area. I was going to turn around and pretty much just vacuum them all up. I was looking for the queen, but wasn't taking the time to look for her. Went through the hive this morning, and I don't see her. Based on the way the bees were acting, she's not in there. So what I did was, wanted to come back here, get a little bit of the excess comb cleaned up, and I find that we've got still a pretty good bit of bees. They're trying to rob out the comb that is on the ground that I couldn't get cleaned up that day. Don't normally do that. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, knew I'd be coming back, so I left it. Um, yesterday we had pretty rough weather and didn't didn't get back over here yesterday. So I'm here this morning and I wanted to go back through, clean up my mess. What I've got is I've got an inspection camera and I look down and you can see in this hole right here, well when I walked up I've got bees fanning like crazy, flying around me like crazy, but right about in here I've got about a good pound maybe more of bees that I can see on the camera. I believe my queen's down in here. So I'm going to open up this wall and I'm going to turn around and look for her and we'll catch her. We're going to uh, vacuum the rest of the bees because I don't have any uh, hive comb or anything to run them to. So I'm going to take the time. We're going to vacuum up as many bees as we can get and I feel pretty comfortable we're going to catch our queen to find her. But i got to spend a few minutes getting this wall opened up, get down to where they're at and we're going to, we're going to see if we can't find her.
All right, folks. There they are. What I'm about to do is I'm going to smoke them a little bit, try to spread them out, kind of control where they go. But I'm looking for little misses. So if I can get her, well, I can get them all. So I think I'm going to let them run down a little ways. There she is. There she is. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. There you go. Yes, sir. There she is right there. All right. So that's it. She's right here. Let's see if I can't get behind the camera and make sure you see her. Okay, there she is. There, right there. Nice little golden. Very good. I'm not sure how she got around on me, guys. I really don't. But uh, um, there's a little. There was a little gap down at the bottom of the wall. Very small. I would not have thought it was at the bottom, past the honey. I would not have thought her to be down there. But anyway, that's where she's at, right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the vacuum out. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, leave any bees behind, and uh, we'll let uh, we'll take these home. We're going to give them their queen, and pretty much we're done. So uh, give me a few minutes to get things set up. I'll let you watch me finish this out, and we're going to wrap it up. So hold on just a minute.
Well, what do you think? Big mess, wasn't it? Uh, like I said, we had a day of rain. Um, got our got our hive removed out, but we didn't get all the bees. And confirmed I didn't get the queen this morning. Came back, wanted to finish up the job. Wanted to give that one last chance to see if I couldn't find my queen, and well, there she was. So we got a little mess to clean up. I'm gonna save you the headache, all that. I'm gonna scrape some of the rest of this comb out of the wall, get rid of it, and. I believe they'll be tearing this house down here pretty soon, probably with a torch, but at least we saved a colony of bees. Uh, really happy about that. I'm gonna get the equipment put up, take uh, the little missus home, put her in her new uh, 10 frame hive, and feed them back and see if they'll draw some comb. Like I said, it's a great day in Alabama, a uh, great day for doing some bee removals, a little bit overcast. Uh, really happy that the, the last of them weren't so mad at me like they were the day before, but um, that's about it. And I appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'd like to uh, pass along. Don't forget to look up JP the Bee Man on YouTube. Check out some of his videos. He uh, He's the guy that I got my start from. He, he helped me out a lot with understanding uh, how to handle bees. Not so much doing bee removals. It's, it's an entertainment. He likes to ed educate and entertain, and that's what I got from that was a lot of entertainment because he's funny. Uh, he's a great friend of his, Shall We, the two of them doing some beehives removals are uh, they're, they're kind of comical but uh, I love them to death they're, they're actually become two great friends but they've taught me how to slow down and handle bees in a way that I don't overstress them and upset them to a point where they want to tear me up and that's something that just over time you learn but anyway there it is another job 99% done and I'm Travis from Alabama Bee Removal. You can find me on Yappy's Bee Chat on Facebook. And I hope that uh, hope I did you justice with the video that I'm going to make for you. And hope you enjoyed it. Anyway, God bless, take care, and we'll see you soon. Alright folks, well, here's a little added extra to the uh, video. What we got was, this is the box set up for the Hunt Club bees, obviously because it's at the end of the video. And I'm about to crack open the box and reintroduce the queen to the colony that have not seen her for the last three days. I've also got a nuke that I had uh, abscond on me. And I've got some good drawn comb, so I'm going to take this comb that was from there and I'm going to add it in and take out the foundation that I put in there to give them and we're going to give the place a, the queen a place to go ahead and lay so go ahead and sit back and watch here's a little added extra of me putting the queen in from that removal
Now, sorry for the bumpy, but I'm gonna watch this. This is the bees that we just took out. We vacuumed up this morning. And we'll let you watch a little marching going on. There it is. So they, uh, I believe, have found their, their queen. And uh, let's see if we can't get a little bit of fanning action right there. See them right there? See how they're sticking their little tushies up in the air? All right, that one right there. That is what it looks like when they are fanning their nasonoff glands, which is the smell of the lemongrass that we always speak of well that's what it looks like right there when they uh they're trying to tell everybody else hey this is this is where you need to come to orientate to right here well that's that's what they're doing so that's your little bit of bonus footage nothing major exciting other than me letting the queen go um with the extra comb the stores and everything else generally I will tell you that I like to leave a queen in a cage for two or three days. The bees have already been in there for two days. They've established a uh, home. They're doing a great job at it. We've already got some of their own brood in there, in their own comb. I stagger stepped some of the five frames of comb that I had built in different places so that that way I put it in areas where they would utilize it the best, which mostly was in the brood area. And I put one out towards the outer side for. Um, them to put up some of their nectar stores. We got goldenrod coming, and believe it or not, they're actually doing a great job of repairing. So if you can uh, tolerate my dog barking and my chickens over there, uh, we got our own little fun farm here out here in Alabama. Uh, that's where the sound effects are coming from. But anyhow, I again I appreciate y'all watching my videos, and I hope you enjoy them. Uh, you know I don't know. If I've given you anything to help you out with, but uh, I hope all, all said and done with that you enjoyed what you saw. Anyway, once again, uh, this is Travis with Alabama Bee Removal, Yappy from uh, Yappy's Bee Chat on Facebook, and God bless each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed it.